Jeremy and I started Occupy River West. And the idea was to have a presence in our park. So when every day people drive by here, they understand that uh, we're not going to go away, that the 99% are angry about what's, what's happened to our country. Our country's been hijacked by um, special interest groups, mostly groups that have lots of money and control, control most of the wealth in this country. And so we're out here to send a message that we're going to be out here every single day until we see real change in our system. And so we'll be here seven to eight every day uh, letting people know that this is, this is happening until we do something about it. Um, it's going to continue to be a problem. It's going to get worse. So we're just talking to people. We're engaging people that walk by, letting them know what's going on, why we're out here, encouraging them to come and join us in the future, um, to, let, to basically build understanding and build camaraderie among our community and build it up from this level and hopefully we spread to other parts of the city. I don't think there's something wrong with capitalism. I think there's something wrong with capitalism the way it exists in this country. Unregulated, unfettered capitalism is, has problems. Um, I think capitalism, we've proven, can work, but the problem is our capitalism isn't really capitalism anymore. It's been hijacked. Um, it's, it's, it's a group of monopolies, oligarchies, uh, that are running this country, and then until we figure out uh, a way to get our country back, it's not capitalism the way it should be point to similarities between us and the Tea Party. I think the similarity is that uh, we're angry. Um, I think the difference is who we're angry at. Um, the Tea Party tends to, to direct their anger, I think, at more of the victims in our society, whereas our our movement's angered at the true problem, which is the, the big money that's uh, been and basically infused into our politics. Occupy Milwaukee, it's part of, it's a part of Occupy Everywhere. Occupying a public space. Right. As an act of civil disobedience, but also as a way of building coalitions and people collecting together, a gathering point for the public to get together and figure out how to stand up to the system and bring it down, hopefully. Well, you know, you want to fix the system because it's broken and everyone's being robbed by, by the relationship between big money, big capital, and, uh, um, and the government. So people are standing up to try to turn this thing around, just like they did in Tahrir Square, and the way that we were doing in Madison, and the way that people did always do throughout history. People gather together, and they create a large movement. And the, large, the larger the movement gets, the more power the people have to turn things around. Once and for once, once and for all, is once for all. This, I mean, there's always going to be another fight, but this is a big fight, and it's a very early stages of it. But it's going to become probably one of the biggest movements in American history, and this is very early stages of it. Out here, we're supporting the Occupy Milwaukee movement by putting up signs every day from 7 to 8 p.m. You should talk to Jeremy, he's the one who started it. Well, I feel like I have to do something. For 30 years we've been sleeping, and uh, this is now going to be part of my daily routine. I'm not going to be sleeping anymore. I'm angry, and I, I'm no longer going to complain. This is taking the space, I think, that, uh, that leaving the church has left in my life. This is my, uh, my new proclamation of who I am. Well, I'm angry at the distribution distribution of wealth. Um, I see so much suffering and poverty, and to see rich people living in their ivory tower, towers, unwilling to part with three percent of their income, um, I find to be a, a very un, unreligious, uh, unhumane, and that makes me angry. I, you know, I'm not going to complain about capitalism. I just think that a, a few minor tweaks in the tax laws. Uh, could really, could really go a long way. We have we have enough wealth in this country um, to clothe and house and uh, give health care to everybody, and I'm absolutely certain of that statistically. But you know, see, you see people just kind of walking up, and that's the idea. We want people to kind of feel comfortable, come out, uh, shake a sign, and let, let the world know what you're angry about. Um, bring a sign. You know, we've got signs for people too, but we just want people to share what what's on their mind because everyone that comes here is bringing their own unique story and bring it, share it, tell people about it because if you sit on your couch tonight and don't do anything, 
you're bottling that anger up inside and the problem's gonna only get worse. This gives somebody uh, a tangible uh, activity that they can do, they can leave their home, come out, uh, let people know how they're feeling, and they're doing something, it's, it's every day. So every day we're out here, we're making this a part of our lives. We're busy people, I mean, I'm a teacher, I have a ton of stuff I have to do when I get home tonight, but I've, I've occupied this hour of my life to come out every day and make a statement and talk to people that walk by, that drive by, that want to know why we're out here. And we're going to build this movement from the ground up and we're going to be successful. So we're excited about it. Thanks for coming out.